right, guys, here we go. Championship night. The Capsule with Time LLC.com Arca Series. Going to wrap it up here at Martinsville tonight. Your pole center is Brandon Parks. Next level racer there. Jesse Gordon in that number two spot trying to claim a championship here out of California. Rafe in the three. Brandon for that Falcon Motorsports, a.k.a. Chaos in the four. Divers in the five. Beavers in the six. Anthony Monroe in that seven spot. And there's... Jordan Bohannon, Broken Axle Motorsports driver in the eight. McIntosh, Freedom Motorsports on the side of that thing in the nine hole. Adam Hur in that 10 spot. And Derek from New York in the 11. All right, taking a look here. Conditions in Martinsville. Woo, boy. 73 degrees, 24% humidity. Clear and two mile hour winds. Big thanks again to Capsule with Time, LLC.com, for being the title sponsor of tonight's race. All right, let's see what we got here. These guys are getting ready to go green here. So we got one already in the pits here. Let's take a look at what happened to him uh, before the race here. I'm not sure what, what happened. Looks like he just got a little bit loose here and drove himself, just crashed. Wow. That was, uh, that was pretty stupid. All right. <laughs> I don't know. He must have had some issues there. iRace has been pretty fucking dumb today, so I don't know what that was, but yeah. Glad he's not out here racing, because if you can't make it through the pace lap, you definitely ain't going to make it through the race. All right, pace cars off. Let's get these guys rolling here. 50 laps tonight at Martinsville. Brandon Parks, Gordon, front row. Here we go. Nothing like the paper clip at night. Here we go. Green flag, green flag. Good start from everybody as they launch down into turn number one. Who's going to push them out of the way? Everybody's looking good and clean. The 82 into the back of the 57. Contact made already. Let's take a look here. What do we got going on here? Boom. Gives them the nudge here. That's going to be the first one of the night. We'll back it up here. Take another look. We want to make sure we get all angles accurate here. Boom. Gives them a nudge. Boom. Gives them a nudge. Everybody can clearly see the 82 ran into the back of the 57. First one of the night. On Anthony Monroe. All right, let's pull it up here. Boom, boom. That one's on Anthony Monroe. First one of the night into the back of the 57. Let's light him up and do it again. And, uh, you know, hopefully it won't screw up our thing here because we didn't even make it through a lap here. Boom. <laughs> Yikes. All right, so Brandon Parks, Gordon, front row here. We're going to have to let it cycle through here. We will have to let it cycle through. I can't pee one to green here. And Beavers, did you fix whatever problem you had? Because uh, that was terrible. That was very awful. I'm not going P1 to green. I can't because we had a crash on the first lap in the first corner, which is pathetic. But now iRacing is going to be like, hey, we got to we gotta pace around four laps to do the scoring because we can't go one lap in a league race. So, all right, let's, uh, let's try to regroup here and go again. All right. Uh, in, yeah, yeah, it will. Yeah, it will. It should. If it doesn't, I'll, I'll have you, you know, do whatever, or drop back to the back or whatever. But, yeah, it's all funky right now. Once there's a wreck within the first lap and not even make it to the first corner, it fucks everything up. So it's a joke. All right, Gordon, Rafe, Brandon, Bo Hannon, McIntosh, Adam, Derek, Divers, Monroe, and Beavers. So we'll see what it's going to have Beavers do here. It's going to have to do itself here. Like I said, they can't, I can't rush it here. It's going to screw up the scoring. So we're going to do a lot of pacing here. If it doesn't have you do anything next time by, I'll have you drop to the tail beavers and we'll go P1 to green. All right, so let's see what these get. All right, go to the back. 
All right, so here we go. He's going to the tail end of the field here. And he'll be ready to go, and we're going to fire him off here again. Let's see if we can get a lap in here at Martinsville. <laughs> You gotta love racing. I do. I do love it. I'm a huge fan. Alright, here we go. Restart zone. Brandon Parks, the control car here. Good looking launch for him. We'll see how they do going down into the corner here. Getting them in hot. The 83 way up the track. 18 right there. Brandon Effort up the track air. The 83. Let's see if we get a couple laps in right here. Brakes are different for everybody. Yeah, the 909 of Macintosh right below the 83 here. The 101. Woohoo! Contact almost made there, but we're single file 8 of 50 here in the capsule with time Arca series. So. And there's another one. So. Uh, let's back it up. So on the 101, got loose, came in too hot, almost ass packed the 83, but locked him up, and Adam had nowhere to go. First one of the night, and Bo Hannon. All right. <laughs> he came in there screaming, like, oh, shit. Hey, I give him respect, though, on the crash. Like, he went up the track and didn't hit anybody else, so that's good. So, Jordan Bo Hannon, right there, first one of the night. All right, let's try to do this again here. <laughs> Divers is like, I'm in the pits, man. You can't P1 in the green. <laughs> All right, Adam Herr. You come down pit road here, grab some servicing. And we'll see if we can get some laps in here. Might be a caution fest race here tonight. Who knows, man? Ain't looking good so far, I'll tell you that. Coming around the high side here. Chris Beavers. And does that put you back on the lead lap, Beavers? All right, cool. Sounds good. I just want to make sure. All right. Yeah, because I went back and I saw that wreck. And, uh, yeah, it almost looked like you ran into a wall. But there was no wall there. So, I don't know. But, all right, let's go. All right, we'll get these guys the P1, the green treatment. And here we go. Boom. Let's try to get some laps in here at the paperclip. I knew it was going to be tough, but I didn't know it was going to be this tough. The so Brandon Parks and Gordon, front row here. Rafe, McIntosh, Brandon, Derek, Divers, Monroe, Bohannon, Adam, and Chris Beaver is going to round out that field here. 101, got to get behind him here. There we go. Boom, boom. They're going to swap spots here. Here we go. Brandon Parks, good start there. Ray for the boys, 909, the 83. Woo, contact. Almost made there. We're clear here. Everybody can make it through turn one and two here. Anthony Monroe on the outside and Joshua Divers. Divers on the bottom side in the 57, the 82 up on the high side. That Black Magic design. Looking stuff right here as we keep an eye on the battle brewing here. And that number seven in the eight spot. Divers, Monroe, neck and neck. Drag race to the start finish line. Going to go to Monroe that lap. Divers with the preferred speed line here. Contact, touch there, a little side rub there. Back up racing. Good side by side right here. Anthony's gonna run into some traffic right there with the 38 right in front of him. Or the, yeah, 38, excuse me. That's gonna slow him down. Everybody trying to find that sweet spot with the braking zone. But up front, Brandon Parks and Gordon checking out. And the 18 just got way loose right there. Let's back it up here and take a look at what happened to the 18 here. It comes out of the corner and... Whew, big save right there. Good thing there wasn't no cars down there. But the 18 up against the wall there. and He stuck it right there. 18 right now working with the 83 of Brandon Medford out here. Side by side they go. 16 of 50 in the books here in the Capsule Time Arca Series Championship Night. You got him spin around in the back here. Yellow flag out back here again. It's got McIntosh looped around this time. And 
Let's see what we got going on here with Macintosh. Oh boy, contact hard made right here. Let's take a look here. Let's blow it up to the big shot cam here. Boom, 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 boom. Give me something good here. Let's see what we got. Boom, 38 hard into him there. First one of the night. All right, we're going to take a look here. It looks like we're pulling the cam shot here down right now. It looks like some action here between the 38 and the 909. So bear with us here just a moment. Boom, boom, boom. 909's running his line, and the 38, boom, gives him right there. So that's going to be on Derek. First one of the night into the 909. Looped him around. Line him up. Boom, boom, boom. Tell in the field. And boom. Oh, 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 oh. Good job, though, not, like, plowing into him, though. So I give you props there. Looks like he's going so slow up top. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He definitely was. So, yeah, definitely definitely going to go a lot slower right there. So he went up to the top side there and tried to come back down there. So unfortunately for him. But, you know, they'll get him wound back up. We'll try to do it again here. So Brandon Park still the man out front here. As we got no lucky dog candidates here, we'll go back green here next time by. First one of the night on Derek there, getting into the back of the 101, or excuse me, 909, or they got so many different numbers out. You got the 909, the 101, 665. You got them all out here tonight. So Jesse Gordon, Brandon Park, still in the front row. There's Brandon there for chaos, and he's got his teammate next to him here. So Josh got a teammate in this race. Good to see here. Yeah, it's very tough in the back of the field, man. Very, very tough. Not a... Not a very place you want to be, to say the least. You know that. You do not want to be in the back of the field. You just never know what's going to happen. There could be some craziness. But the same thing can happen up front. I mean, we're going to light them up here and go green next time by. So Brandon Parks and Gordon. Good to see Brandon back out here for chaos, man. He's a good driver. So if he keeps that speed coming here. As the lights are off that pace car, as they go down the backstretch one more time here at the paperclip. Precautions, precautions, absolutely. And that's the thing that we're going through right now. This track here, everybody breaks differently. Everything's a lot different at Martinsville. Green, green, green. 21 of the 50 in the books here. Boom. Hard contact back there in the back. So we got cars turned all the way around. There's the 18 right here. I don't know what happened with him. Looks like maybe he just lost it here. Going on the restart. Look at this. Boom. Holy shit. Brandon Parks, do your leader right now. Gordon. Trying to give him a good run up here in the front. Brandon, divers in Monroe. Your top five. Divers hits the wall there. A little bit of extra drag brake if you want it. Black Magic Design 82 broken axle driver right there with them. Working their way up. Right behind divers he is. Under the curve he went right there. Adam Hurt right behind him. Up front, good battle still here. Brandon Parks, Gordon, there's Brandon in the three spot. Joshua Divers, after that earlier accident, finds himself back up to the number four spot here. So, not letting the minor accident tear him down. He's still driving the fucking wheels off that thing. Anthony Monroe in that five, Adam Hearn, Derek, Jordan Bohan, and Chris Beavers, McIntosh, and there's Rafe. Rafe had such a good car early, man, and then just things literally hit the wall. Gordon, Brandon, right here. Let's jump inside the cockpit with uh, Anthony Monroe as he tries to work down that chaos driver of Joshua Divers here. 24 laps left to go here at the paperclip. Championship night. By the way, here, we're crowning a lot of champions here this week, man. The dirt stuff just wrapped up. The arc is finishing up. We got some pretty cool races in the works here for the Wednesday night program. 
second race, but it's going to be some fun races coming up, so be on the lookout for that. Anthony Monroe right in the tracks of Joshua Divers. He's trying. Jesse Gordon, your new race leader here. You guys may be asking, how did that happen? Well, let's take you back a lap or two here, and you guys can see exactly how the pass was made here. So, Brandon Parks right here coming out. Boom. The see ya. This is the inside. Never looks back. 21 to go. Jesse Gordon. Out front. Parks in the two. Brandon in the three. Divers in the four. Monroe in the five. Derek in the six. There's Adam Herf and you fans out there watching. Chris Beavers right there. Bohannon, McIntosh, and Rafe. 20 laps to go here. Let's see if Brandon Parks can close the gap here. Try to put some gap sauce on him is what they call it. <laughs> yep, that's exactly what it is, man. We'll see if they can get it done here. Adam right now, he's just chilling. He's up three spots. So from where he qualified right now, so he's got to get up here. His next victim is going to be Derek. Gonna try to chase down there, but they're single file here. Don't look now, but the 83's a knocking. Hey, the 83. He's working his way up here. Very quick driver for chaos. And I tell you, Divers has got a good guy in front of him to follow. Bedford, out here. Trying to do his thing. Brandon in the 83. Parks ahead of him. Rafe crashed. Not sure what happened with him. We'll have to go back and take a look here. Popped up on the alert here that he crashed. So it looks like, oh boy. Oh, good Lord. Oh, he just. I'm glad that didn't bring out a caution. That would have been horrible. Gordon, Parks, Brandon. Brandon. Divers right there, Monroe and Derek. 15 laps to go. What's Park seeing in his rear view? Let's go to that capsule cam. I'll tell you right now. Oh boy. Oh yeah, right now, everybody trying to get up here. Here's what Jesse Gordon sees. Pass trying to get made here. It's going to look to the inside. Brandon Parks back to the lead here. Gordon trying to keep himself safe there. Parks gets loose with a 13 to go. Jesse Gordon back to the two spot. Parks, your new leader. That's how you do some passing at the paperclip right there. Thirty-eight, looking to go to the inside of the 82 there. He'll dip it down in there. So Derek now making the pass. One Anthony Monroe to the inside. He'll go. Back up here towards the front. Anybody's race with 12 to go. Woo, gets loose coming out. swap a -roo here. Anthony Monroe will look back to the inside here. and He'll try to stick it down that bottom lane. The 38 right there and... Oh, man, gets all types of crazy loose. About ran right into him. Holy shit. <laughs> Sometimes you just have the camera in the right spot. You know what I mean? But Brandon Parks is getting a whole lot of Jesse Gordon. Right now. Derek, independent driver. Independent driver. Races for himself. Brandon Park, still the leader. Gordon in the two. Brandon Divers and Derek 
in that 38. He's the independent driver, man. Just tries to run his own race, you know, do his own thing. And shows up, puts in the work. But right now, up on that curve there as he tries to pass the 57. Anthony Monroe, Beavers, and Bo Hannon coming down pits here. He'll have to stop in the 101. Eight laps to go here at the clip. Brandon Parks, your leader. Pitting in. Pit strategy. Having to play a role here. Eight laps to go. Anthony Monroe has to pit. They only had 25% of fuel. Who was saving and who wasn't? Gordon, your leader. Brandon Parks has to come in and pit. Seven laps to go. This is a game changer with that fuel set at 25%. Gordon out front. Divers into two. Derek into three. Beavers into four. Adam in that five spot. McIntosh. All these drivers are in the pits right now. Six laps to go. Gordon has to come in and pit. Derek is your new leader. In the 38, independent driver. Got people asking, who the hell is this guy? He's quick. Got Derek out here looking good with five laps to go. Chris Beavers in the two. Adam Hur in the three. Gordon Divers in the pits. McIntosh out there. Parks coming out of the pits here. Race out of pit road here. Good looking stuff right there as they pull him out. Derek right now. Yeah, it looks good. Four laps to go. He probably did pit. Four laps to go for the 38. Chris Beaver's in that number two spot. Adam Hur in the three. Everyone knew about the fuel percentage. How it was going to be a game changer here tonight. I was 25% with 50 laps. Well, it's going to put you a few laps short. Literally. So three laps to go. Derek, still the man out front. Beavers in the two. Adam Hur, he's in the three right now, cruising. And that may have been his whole motive the whole time, Super. He may be just trying to save some fuel. Up into the wall, he goes hard. <laughs> Don't know what that was, but it was not looking good. Derek, still your leader. <laughs> yeah, Adam Hur really tried to hit that wall hard. Dude. That was really hard. White flag out this time by Derek. Trying to get it done. Chris Beaver's in that two spot right now. All right, there's your race winner. He could bring it around here. Derek. Wegman right now looking good. There's Beaver's in the two, and it's going to be Derek Winston in the 38 tonight. Chris Beaver's in that number two spot, and Adam Hur hanging on for the win here. Going to be in that P3 spot. Adam in the three, Beaver's in the two, and Derek going to take that top three here tonight. All right, good run there. Derek Beavers, Adam, front row. Get him up there. Top three. Park him. Good run there, boys. Woohoo, man. That pitch strategy, they, they, they wrecked him out of the park with that one. Adam Hur there, your third place driver out of Michigan. Chris Beavers out of Cleveland, Tennessee in that two spot. And there's Derek in the 38, picking up a big win here tonight in the Capsule of Time ARCA Series Championship Night. Look at that right there. It's only a matter of time. 38 is going to get a win. And pitch strategy played a huge role in that one. Waiting for another caution. Didn't happen. You got to roll the dice sometimes. You got to roll the dice sometimes. So we'll get Adam Hur over here. We'll get the post-race interviews underway here in just a quick second. All right, here we go. We're going to start off with the third place driver out here tonight. Up seven spots where he qualified. Playing the fuel strategy game. Adam Hur, you got a copy. Yeah, no, hey, it ain't the fastest to get paid. It's the fastest it gets laid. And P3, that's where you want to be. Up seven spots, Adam. And uh, fuel strategy a little different here tonight. 25%, 50 laps. We knew going into it, if it stayed green, it was going to leave it shy about six laps. And uh, look good for you. Three Up three uh, up seven spots into P3 here tonight, Adam. Break down your run for us, bud. Yeah, I knew that the, uh, the fuel was going to be tight, and I wanted to keep packed full of fuel uh, just in case we did have um, a long green flag run, which we ended up having. So uh, I was just hoping that way. I literally, coming out of the last corner, started running out of gas. So I got super lucky. Um, congrats to all the other drivers, the uh, top two guys. Um, yeah, I was just, I don't know what you guys, this season race, I've only been in here twice, but it's good to get on, good to get a podium. 
It's been a while. Yeah, it's always awesome having you raised. Doesn't matter what it is. It's always a pleasure seeing you in here. So congrats again on the P3 here tonight. And uh, uh, yeah, let me know who's some great sponsors you want to thank tonight, Adam. Well, obviously, I'd like to thank uh, my team owner, Granite Parks, and uh, Next Level Lasers. Uh, supply awesome paint jobs for us. And uh, hopefully, um, we'll be getting many, many more wins together as a team. So. Uh, like, thank you for putting on the show, uh, everyone for showing up, and uh, thanks for everyone out there watching. Absolutely, there you have it, Adam Hur P3 here tonight at the Paperclip. We're going out to our second place driver from that Flowers Motorsports camp on asphalt, coming in that P2 out of Cleveland, Tennessee, Chris Beavers. You got a copy? Yeah, I guess so. Hey, man, good run out there tonight. Didn't start off very good for you there. That pace lap before the green flag, like you ran into a brick wall. Damn near took out a couple cars with you, but find yourself back here after getting that lap back, and uh, here you are coming out of the pits, and P2, break down your run here at the paperclip. Yeah, it's pretty embarrassing there, spanned out before we even started. Alan uh, was good. We got a got our lucky dog. We got back on the lap, on the really lap, and uh, got to make a few passes, and I just wrapped about lap 17, I took and decided to go ahead and pee it, and I just took rest sides, and my left side's the world, but I ended the race. I don't know, it's good. Absolutely, all is good, man. P2 here tonight, Flowers Motorsports getting that asphalt team together, and it's looking good here. We're getting the podium tonight, and uh, Beavers, who do you want to thank tonight, buddy? I don't thank you for putting it on, and uh, letting me read your name, I remember when I get to him, and he's asking all directions, and uh, Flowers Motorsports, uh, James Booth's Motor Shop, uh, my boy for helping me out. Uh, Say has me with this. There you got it. Chris Beavers, P2 here tonight in the Arca Series at the clip. Good job, my man. Went over now to Derek at the 38. You got a copy, bud? Yes, I do. A good run there up 10 spots, and it was all about fuel strategy coming into this. We knew it was going to be crazy. You picked up the EOL earlier with the accident there, and the uh, – it may have, may have been a blessing in disguise there, going to the back, going into the pits or whatever, and coming back out up 10 spots to get the win here tonight, man. Break down your race for us. Uh, yeah, no, I, uh, that caution was completely my fault. I want to apologize to the 909. I was, uh, was getting a little antsy, you know. The field was packing up a little bit, tried to go inside. I'm not sure who it was, but they were there. Tried to go back up, ended up getting to the 909. So that's my fault, but uh, kind of was looking at the fuel, kind of knew I uh, needed to pit. I figured I'd pit then, take right sides, and uh, like you said, that caution kind of worked out in my favor, and then I uh, kind of just started picking off every one, one by one, made it to the front. I kind of knew that the top three or four, I'm not really sure, had the pit, so I kind of just laid back, took my laps as they came, and uh, here we are. Now, the one question that I talked to you about a couple weeks ago, maybe, you know, now we got it going in the chat here on Twitch if you're watching over on the live stream. They want to know, are you going to remain a free agent or are you going to sign with one of these eight or nine teams in the league, man? Uh, I think I'm going to remain a free agent. I, I just come on here to have fun. <laughs> All right, good answer, man. Good stuff out there tonight. Congratulations again, Derek, on the big win here tonight. And uh, who's in sponsors you want to thank, Derek? Well, I want to thank you for sure, and I want to thank everyone else out here, especially tonight. It was a good race, good run. Everyone raced hard, clean, tight, and uh, yeah. Awesome work. There you have it. Derek picking up the big win here tonight in the 38 machine. Beavers in that two spot, and Adam Hur rounds out your top three here at the Capsule of Time, LLC.com, Arca Series.